Hello guys, today I'm going to try and finish off this uh, Britain's cane low loader. Uh, all I really have to do is sort out these LEDs, wire it all up and just finish off the programming. When I get the program finished for this I'll just add it to the RC Tractor Guy library on the website so if you want to download this code and use it yourself uh, just download the library. It's been a long time since I worked on this but the last time I did I I uh, drilled some holes in the side here and added these LEDs, it kind of seemed like the best place to do them. In the real one, they're at the back here, but there's not really any space. And I'd have to drill through quite a thick piece of aluminium there to um, put the LEDs through there. So I decided to add them on the side instead. Uh, I did actually record me doing that and another video, but I don't know where that uh, footage has gone to. But I didn't do too much, I just drilled the holes, put the LEDs in there. Uh, I need to solder on some wires and resistors here and wire it up to the Arduino. It shouldn't be too difficult. So on each side of the model here I have a tail light and I have an indicator and what I've done is solder the two ground legs together. So the ground legs are connected at the LEDs here and then I've only three, um, well, three legs coming back into the uh, underneath the body here underneath this tail section. So the next thing I need to do is connect the ground connections over here, bring that to the Arduino and then connect the positive connections of the brake lights together and bring that wire back and then each of the indicators is going to need an individual wire so that means we'll have a total of four wires coming back to the Arduino back here. Okay well I finally got the LED soldered, I had to change uh, the the red LEDs actually had to change it twice well what happened is as I tried to bend the legs to get them in through the side of the uh, the model here the uh, pressure on the plastic of the LED just at, along the, the positive leg was enough to crack the plastic and once it cracked the LED just wouldn't work and that happened with two sets of LEDs I didn't even have um, any more of the first set that I had so I had to change to these clear red LEDs but it's okay uh, I have plenty of long wire here so let's check it out uh, this should be the red lights maybe you'll be able to see so that's our rear tail lights and what I have there is a resistor on each of those red LEDs and that comes to common wire here so you can see there's one resistor and the second resistor connected by the red wire here and then just one wire continuing forward the ground wire of all the LEDs is connected there and that's a single wire going forward and then our indicator LEDs we have a resistor on each there's one and there's the other and they come into these two wires sort of individual wires and if I light them up might be able to see what that looks like might not be able to see so oh, there's one of the LEDs, you can see it shining through the clear plastic of the rear red LED and here's the other one, you can see that over on the far side. So the next thing to do now is to uh, unscrew the wheels off this here and expose the Arduino so that I can wire up these lights and then it's just a matter of putting the uh, connector to connect to the tractor on the front. Well, something is bound to go catastrophically wrong because uh, this is the first time I think I've ever written code for one of these things, uploaded it, and it's just done exactly what it was supposed to do first time. So, let's have a look. We have our indicators. You can see the tractor there. It's indicating here as well. Uh, mightn't be able to see the other side, but it's also working there too. No problem. Hazards work fine. Then we have our tail light. They come on, same as the tractor, that's fine. And then we have control of our tail here. You might be able to see the servo moving there. So we have control of that. So I guess I just have to put it back together, wire up a connector, and that's the model finished. Okay, here's the connectors on, just normal DuPont connectors like I normally use, just push them together, no problem. So last thing I'm going to do is just put some uh, hot glue um, around these different things to stop them shaking about, vibrating, that, uh, well hopefully that they won't uh, get broken, that they won't shake and the solder joints break or the wires break off. 
that should just hopefully make it last a little bit longer. Well I put plenty of uh, hot snot around it everywhere and uh, hopefully that will stop the wires uh, bouncing around and hopefully they won't break. Ended up with lots of the little fibres from the hot snot everywhere but not much you can do about that, just pick them off and they're kind of dried up a bit. Um, that's the cane low loader finished so if you like that build uh, make sure and hit the like button and if you have any uh, comments or any suggestions let me know below the video. Uh, oh, if anyone's wondering, this black rubber is from a bicycle inner tube and the reason it's there is because uh, the metal tracks of the excavators was just sliding on the metal on this uh, rear tail here so I needed a little bit of grip so that they could climb up the load order. Well that's all I have for today so thanks very much for watching.